Good evening, YouTube. Welcome to another DIY. Um, so for Christmas, my parents and my sister and brother-in-law got my wife and I a flagpole and a camp locator, 22-foot um, flag, flagpole, um, and then uh, I don't know how big the camp locator is, but this is going to be a journey on installing the camp locator. So I've already put the flagpole and the mount on the ladder of our motorhome. And I'll show you that here. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to wire the camp locator. Um, my original plan was to actually just get, and I actually bought it, a seven pin connector for a trailer and plug it directly into the seven pin receiver part, the female part, um, into the back of the RV. There usually is a constant hot and then a ground. So I was just gonna wire that, boom, plug it in when I want the camp locator to go on, unplug it when I want it to go off. Problem is our motorhome, the positive is not a constant hot. For the only for that to get a constant hot, I have to have the key to the um, you know, turn to the accessory notch. And I don't want to do that. That'll just drain the batteries. So what I'm going to do is actually wire this to the compartment lights of the motorhome. So it's going to have some wires going to the underneath. I'm going to splice them there and then put another connection. And I'll show you that here. Here is my wet bay. And I've got the compartment light on now. So I've got a switch inside that'll turn this LED on. There's the wires for that. So when that switch on is on in the inside of the motorhome, that red wire has the power. So this came with the flagpole and kit. That is the camp locator plug. Um, there is one of these coming off of the camp locator. It's about yay long. Um, and then this is supposed to be 30 feet long. So my plan is, is to take this connect it to one side of these um, using these. Um, as I showed you earlier, I will take and splice uh, into the compartment light, positive and negative, with the wire loom that I've created here. So there's about eight or nine feet here. This will basically go from that compartment light switch in the wet bay tucked underneath Go underneath the chassis, have one of these on it. This will plug into this, and then this into the camp locator. So my plans changed. Um, rather than having to drill a hole in this compartment, I was gonna try to get it in there, but it was just too tight of a fit. But I traced those compartment light wires out here. So I spliced them there. Um, and then I wrapped some electrical tape around it so it should be nice and waterproof. I ran the wires there. I covered them in some protective plastic. Wired them all the way over here. Up in there. Zip tied it. Bear with me. I'm going to try to do this. I'm doing this on my back. Um, I have it there. I do have, I don't know six inches to a foot of excess and then here's my plug so the plug is hidden nice behind this compartment so it shouldn't get any you know rain or debris in it um i may try to see if i can find some type of cap to put over it um but i think it'll be fine um, and perfect spot where if i come right here there's my ladder so i'm actually going to have um, an excess of probably two or three feet of the original wiring, or sorry, it's from the, the, the wiring from the, the camp locator, because that comes down, like I said earlier, there's gonna be about two or three feet. Um, but then I'll just plug it right in here. Um, I'll probably just maybe wrap the excess around the around the tow hitch, or just put them somewhere in here, so it'll just, it should just come right from here, hang down here, plug right in, and we're good to go. Uh, I tested it last night, and it does, light up. Um, I will show you a demo of that here pretty short or pretty quickly. 
here is the flagpole mounted with the wiring. Uh, I didn't put the flag in. Uh, it does come with a, a fairly large uh, US flag, which is great. Pretty decent quality. And then it's got four mounts, so basically two mounts per flag, so I'll have to get another second flag. Uh, you can see the camp locators on the top. Uh, I'll get a better view of it at night with the flashing, but connected. Here's my wiring. For right now, I'm just running the wiring through the loops on the pins that hold the flag sections together. Uh, I know there's a couple of modifications where you can run it directly through the flag. Um, not sure if I'm gonna do that yet. Uh, there is a hole underneath here so basically, I could probably just run it, you know, put it in the in the flagpole, run it all the way down, and then straight out here. I'll have to see how that works. I want to run it a couple times beforehand. When we got it, I went ahead and mounted it in Akutia Wells, but I didn't do the camp locator. Uh, I also have to figure out the camp locator. It just kind of slides in to the tip up there, but it's not super tight. So I'll put something in there. But as I said earlier, I've got about two or three extra feet of wire. Works out really well. Let's run the wire there. Just looped it over the trailer hitch. That should keep it out of the way. And I'll show you it lit up tonight. So I promised you a demo. Well, before I turn that on, you can't see it, but eh, a little bit. The flagpole's right there. I did take a couple pins out, so it's a little bit lower, easier to see. It's on so like I said earlier that switch turns on the compartment lights and there it is in all its glory um, this has 120 I think pre pre-programmed it's pretty bright too you can see the 120 pre-programmed um, RGB uh, you can save your favorites, which is kind of cool. I don't know if you can custom make some. I mean, you can custom make sp uh, sp uh, specific solid colors. Um, but as of right now, I don't know if you can custom make uh, some of the blinkers. Sorry for the bad picture. This, this camera usually does pretty good at night, but it's trying to focus in on the dark and the bright, or in the light. Um, this is just one of the different color combinations red and white again sorry for the bad video it's just it's really hard to do dark when it's pitch black outside and you're trying to get a fairly bright LED but yeah very pleased um, pretty easy install again that's that's low it's not all the way up I took a couple pins out I think I have three pins out so it goes up you know another section but yeah good to go I did put in I drilled a hole at the very top um, where the where the light slides in and then I drilled a small hole through the light and bought a pin so now that's uh, also connected thanks for watching uh, let me know if you have any comments leave them below like subscribe thanks